Ladies today, news on the hour, sponsored by General Steel. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. Police have arrested the man responsible for drive-by shootings that targeted the homes of four elected officials in New Mexico. KRQE TV reporter Marilyn Upchurch has details. The SWAT team arrested former GOP candidate Solomon Pena. They believe these shootings were politically motivated. Pena made headlines last year as a convicted felon running as a Republican candidate for the New Mexico House District 14. Pena serves five years in prison for leading a burglary ring. At the time, Pena said he got a degree and turned his life around. Deputy Commander Kyle Hartsock says Pena planned the whole thing. The evidence that we have is not only firearms, but it's also from cell phones, and electronic records, surveillance video, and multiple witnesses inside and outside of this conspiracy that have helped us weave together what occurred. In Washington, Republicans are demanding more information on classified documents found at President Biden's home and former office. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Before the election, they found out President Biden had these documents, not under lock, a simple push of a button that could open a garage door that every American has and knows what happens with how people get robbed, mainly by going through a garage door and makes it quite easy. The extreme weather is finally letting up out west, but there's still big concern about the aftermath in California. CBS's Chris Van Cleve is in Ojai. Even though the rain has stopped, the danger really hasn't. Across California, from up north in San Francisco all the way down to San Diego, there remain concerns about flooding and especially mudslides. Climate change, the war in Ukraine, and poverty are all on the agenda now at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. Ukraine's first lady took the stage in the Swiss town of Davos, pleading for global help to stop Russia's aggression. Saying parents are in tears watching doctors trying to save their children. And she scolded government leaders and corporate executives for not using their influence to do enough to help countries struggling with food supplies, calling mass starvation in the 21st century an insult to mankind and human nature. That's CBS's Tina Kraus reporting. Greta Thunberg's been arrested in Germany. She and other climate activists have been protesting the expansion of a coal mine in a small village there and classic clashing with police for days. Here in the U.S., gas prices are going back up. AAA says the national average is now 3.32 a gallon. That's up five cents in just the last week. Experts say prices are up because the cost of crude is up to 80 bucks a barrel. The Dow is up more than 300 points. This is CBS. If you're a business. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. If I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.